Hi, Wonder Wives. Welcome back for day 18 of the Wonder Wife Workshop. I'm Nikki Friedman. Yesterday, we started our discussion of stonewalling, where we talked about where either the husband or the wife just shuts down, becomes like a cold stone, usually as a result of criticism, and doesn't continue to open the bridge of communication between the two spouses, right? So we mentioned that usually 85% of the time, according to Dr. John Gottman's research, usually it is the male in the relationship who turns towards stonewalling. However, it could very well be the woman. There are many women who do this type of behavior as well. So I received some feedback after our class yesterday from one of our Wonder Wives, which I love. Please, please continue sending me your feedback. I love to hear what you guys are thinking and the questions that you have what your concerns are, areas that you feel like you need work on. I would love to be able to address those questions and make this as helpful as possible to my listeners. So this particular Wonder Wife contacted me with a few questions about what I had said yesterday. So instead of just responding to her individually, I decided why not dedicate the class tonight to that? So that way I could have all of you benefit from the answer as well. So the first question that she said was, I had mentioned yesterday that after um, somebody is stonewalling, that the person is supposed to then come to their spouse and say, you know, I'm sorry. And she wasn't clear about if I was talking about the husband who was stonewalling or the wife who was stonewalling. So let me just backtrack and clarify that. Let's say the wife is the one who is stonewalling. If the wife is feeling so flooded by emotion after feeling that they're being criticized, that they need this reaction of just shutting down, taking some time away from their spouse to introspect, to process the information. Once again, that is completely physiologically normal. It has to do with our heart rate rising to a certain place, the cortisol levels, our brain not being able to function normally. That's completely normal. We need to take some time out and do something to reset ourselves, whether it's listening to music, going outside for some fresh air, reading a book, whatever it is that calms us down and helps us get to a level-headed place and really lower our heart rate, breathing exercises. Once we can get to that place, we can then come to our husband and say, I'm sorry that I tuned out before and shut down. I was just feeling really overwhelmed by what you were saying and I needed some time out. I'd now love to have that conversation. Now, let's say it's the other way around and our husband is stonewalling us. Well, yeah, I'd love to give that same bit of information and advice to the husband, but he's not listening to this class. You wives are listening to this class. And if you think it's your job to go to your husband and say, I learned from Nikki Friedman that this is what you need to do when you're stonewalling, please do not do that. We've talked about our husbands do not want our advice. They don't want to hear that from us. Let them go into their private world. Let them have their time where they shut down. That's what they need to do. It's our job not to push them, not to say, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Why are you ignoring me? Why are you going and retreating into the bathroom? Why are you leaving right now? That is not our job. That will push them further away from us and they will shut down even more. So just like we would want to be given the space and time to process what it is that we need to go through to calm down, our husbands need that as well. And we need to respect that. So now the question becomes, well, what if, you know, a few hours go by or a day or two or three or four or weeks or months go by and our husband is still in the state of stonewalling. He isn't seeming to come out of it, to come out of it. And it's actually turned into what I would call a perpetual stonewalling situation where he's just like kind of tuned out and doesn't really seem all that invested in you or the relationship. How do you deal with that? So this wonder wife who, who contacted me yesterday, um, was telling me that she remembers that earlier on in her relationship with her husband, they used to laugh together and share. He used to be open with her emotionally and speak with her and be vulnerable with her. And recently that just hasn't been happening at all. And she expressed to him that she missed those days. She missed the times when she felt like they were really bonding with one another and she wanted to know what was going on. And he said to her, you know, in the beginning, things were different, but recently, like in our marriage with the stresses of life and issues with, you know, in-laws and with raising kids, you've turned into like constantly controlling and criticizing and just being in like a really negative mind state. 
I'm not really all that inspired to like share with you and be open with you and be vulnerable with you. I'm kind of just, I don't know, put off by that. And when she said that to me, my heart was really breaking for her because I could hear the pain in her voice. And I was so broken for the two of them because not only is that very isolating and painful, I'm sure, for the wife to hear, but I'm sure for the husband as well. I'm sure he feels lonely and isolated and people thrive on connection. I'm sure there's nothing more that both of them want deep down than to be so intimately connected with one another. So I wanted to bring this up because I felt as though um, this is connected to the stonewalling situation where it's going on for a long period of time. And we talked about the situation a few days ago with a lobster, that in order for the lobster to grow, sometimes they need to be put in a situation that's so uncomfortable that they just have to break free from their old shell and create a new shell. And I'm hoping that for this wonder wife, she's able to take that unfortunately painful comment from her husband, and I do feel for her, to take that and say, I need to make a change. Yeah, this is not a good situation, and I need to change something about it. Now, one other comment that I want to just end off with here that she made to me was, how come I am the one who needs to make the change? Doesn't it seem like all of these workshops, you know, wonder wife, right? Why isn't there a wonder husband workshop going on? I don't know, maybe my husband will start one. <laughs> we'll see. But, but why? Why is it like the woman who always needs to change? Well, first of all, I don't think that that's always true. I think that when we generalize like that, it really is um, a false sense of reality. There are many men who are seriously working on the relationships, who are working with coaches and therapists, who are reading up, who are learning, who are journaling, who are doing exercises to really work on themselves and the relationships. So that's number one. So maybe that's just her reality. And maybe just there maybe seems to be more women's workshops out there. Okay, so why could that be? First of all, we could say, woe is me that this is the reality, okay? But playing the victim card and saying, why am I the one who has to change? I, woe is me. It's not going to get us anywhere, right? We know from our Jewish sources and our heritage that the woman has a strength, right? Going back to the very first couple that ever was, Adam and Chava, the wife, Chava, is described as being Ezer Konegdo. Her role is to be a helpmate to her husband. We also know that the wife is described as being the Akera Sabais, that she is the one who is the mainstay of the home. So we can look at this as this is a curse upon us. Why do we have to do the work? Or we can look at it as, you know, a superpower, which is what this group is all about. We are wonder wives. We have the power to manipulate and form and craft a beautiful home and a loving and caring relationship. And we should celebrate that. All right, that's enough for tonight. It's to be continued. Thanks so much.